Recently, I've seen a lot of people talk about how video games aren't fun anymore. And instead of complaining, I'd rather just give you some advice on how to make video games fun again. A wise man once said variety is the spice of life. So how can we expect video games to be fun if we don't expand our horizons? Even the most seasoned of gamers will eventually get sick of playing the same game over and over and over. So why is it any different for you and me? Quick question, have you thought about your gaming habits? Like what games you've been playing the most recently? I have, and I actually have some uh, pretty good notes on the subject as a whole. The main way I've seen people play games recently is something I call the Fortnite method. Basically, you hyperfixate on a game for two weeks. Then you inevitably get burnt out and don't touch that game for over half a year. When most people talk about the Fortnite method, they usually reference Minecraft. And while Minecraft is an insanely fun game if you know exactly what you want out of it, I guarantee you the second that Skeleton 360 no-scopes you, you're closing Minecraft and you're never touching it again for like another year. Burnout is a real thing when it comes to gaming, but it's hard to catch if you're not looking for Symptoms. You might be burnt out of gaming if you do any of the following. Opening and closing the same game repeatedly. Playing mindlessly, with no recollection of what happened during your gaming session. The infamous, we can't end on a loss. And the most damning of them all, treating gaming like it's a chore. There's plenty more, but these are the most common symptoms that lead to burnout. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to avoid. The method I use doesn't really have a name, but I promise it's extremely effective. First, I pick a game that I want to complete, let's say Mario Galaxy for the hell of it. I play it for about an hour or so, and the moment I feel a little bit of boredom, I decide to ask myself a question. Am I having fun right now? If the answer is yes, I'm having fun, I carry on as usual. But if the answer is no, I stop playing the game right there and wait until I know with 100% certainty that the Rosalina C will still hit and give me maximum enjoyment. I also try to spread my games thin, bouncing from shooter games to party games to puzzle games to even horror games on some occasion, and everything in between. Yeah. I think the part a lot of gamers get stuck on is trying to finish the game in as few sittings as possible, basically force feeding yourself peak gaming. Now this is acceptable for games that have a really gripping story that demand your undivided attention. For a quick example, when I finally got my hands on Pokemon Sword Shield, I took my sweet ass time. It took me like two weeks of in-game time to beat the game because I took every opportunity possible to feed my Pokemon. I could have finished this game in like two days max, but I didn't. I wanted to take my time and really enjoy what the game had to offer. Now for games like Warzone on the other hand, they don't nearly have as much story or motivation to keep playing other than be the last one standing. And while I love the genre of being dropped into certain death and dying in a blaze of glory, that's probably one of the easiest ways to get yourself burned out. The gameplay loop is pretty frustrating. This is because there's no sense of progression to go off of. It doesn't matter if you get second place five times or if you're the first one to die, you still get the same game over screen unless you get first place. I promise you, if you play that game for more than like five hours a day, you will hate yourself by the end of that day. My point is, playing the same game day in and day out will always lead to burnout, especially if you're not trying to achieve some goal or experience a really fun story. Take Black Ops Cold War for example. At this point in time, Call of Duty really just cares about Warzone and multiplayer. Usually campaign and zombies is an afterthought, but I've always loved zombies and campaign. I loved this one so much so that I went back and 100 percented the campaign and I also completed the zombies easter eggs, every single one of them. Will I ever play it again? Probably not for more than a couple of hours max. I did everything I wanted to do. I got the enjoyment out of the game, as much as I could anyway. Sometimes you just gotta check in on yourself and really make sure you're enjoying a game and not just wasting time. Because just like real life, going through a game mindlessly without a goal is no way to play. Besides, there are so many more games deserving of your time other than the AAA garbage that keeps getting pushed out. You're better off watching someone else talk about it and dunk on it for you. Save yourself the $70. But alongside being mindful, there's still one more thing you have to do to truly appreciate gaming again. And that's accepting that they might not hit as hard as they used to. As much as I'd like to tell you that gaming for hours on end will always be fun no matter how old you are, that's simply not true. Just like in video games, your life goals scale up in difficulty, and it's your mission to fulfill those dreams at any cost. That can mean going to school, getting a job you love, starting a family, protecting the city, blah blah blah, you get it. You really aren't going to have time to crank out 8 hour gaming sessions anymore. You realistically only have a few hours out of the day to enjoy video games. This is both a blessing and a curse. Sure, I can no longer grind out games like I used to, but I can slow it all down and take time to appreciate all the little details I would have missed otherwise. 
When is the last time you soaked in a game's atmosphere? Just did nothing, just sat there, and just took it all in. It really is magical that video games even exist in the first place. There's so many moving parts and intricacies that you really don't see until you lift the hood. While you can argue that grinding the game can be just as fun, I personally think that savoring the journey is the best part. Because you can only beat the game for the first time once. And for what they're charging nowadays, you better fucking believe I'm gonna make this game last me at least a month. Honestly, the more you value your time, the more you'll want better games to play. And you're way less likely to go through burnout, which is ultimately what we need to enjoy games again. Think back to simpler times. Think about how you used to gather up in a friend group and talk about strategies on how to beat the new boss. Think about the anecdotes you'd share about how you hit a trick shot or how you guys beat the boss on the first try. If you didn't care and just played just to play, you wouldn't experience any of those things. You wouldn't be able to savor the journey and enjoy it as much as you did back then. So why not do that now? When Cold War first came out, me and my friend group were so excited. We all sat down and played multiplayer even though I didn't really care for it. And in between those multiplayer sessions, we would play the campaign and we would always gather up and talk about the strategies we found and how maybe there's an alternate ending because we didn't like how it ended. That ending really was scarring. Though. But I wouldn't trade it in for the world. And the main reason I got to experience that with Cold War was because I savored the journey. And I hope you all find this level of happiness through gaming again. Because for me, it certainly has increased the gratitude I have for games in general. I mean, have you seen the videos I've been making? A lot of them are just praising games nowadays. Feel free to leave a game down in the comments that you think people would really enjoy playing. And consider watching this video. Other than that, have a good day. Brains.